to my channel. This rather boring looking packaging is actually a knit crate. Um, this is part of the shipping, I think, what they were doing during the COVID. They didn't have much staff and they still wanted to get things out. So things went out a bit more relaxed. But there's extra things in here. Ooh. Uh, cable ties. Okay. Kool-Aid. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Kool-Aid. Cable ties. Oh my gosh! Guess what's going to be happening on my channel? No. Seriously, this... Is it seriously for dyeing my own yarn? Oh my lord. Okay, let's have a look at the extras while I breathe. So no, oh. no what? No dead spiders. No, no dead spiders. Okay, some post-it notes and some markers. These are awesome. Um, made in China. Big deal. Uh, that's really, really cute. That's a nice little gift. I've often sat at home going, oh, I need to mark a page or I need to, yeah, and it's like, oh, damn. Right. This is the May box. Now, I haven't seen any sneak peeks or anything else on this. That's why I was kind of, I, I got the envelope this morning and my husband said, oh, it's a package for you and a package for me, which is always a little bit exciting. Hang on just a second. I'm just going to tweak the page a bit so you can see. Um, so, I, but, so yeah, I have no idea. The cable ties, oh, I'm only guessing. I'm only guessing. Oh, my God. Right. This, yes, okay. This month we're guiding you on an exciting dye your own adventure. This crate includes some bare yarn along with some Kool-Aid to dye it. I have never tried dyeing with food. Well, I, actually, I have. I'll tell you that story in a second. Uh, Rebecca Brown from Chemnitz Creations shot a new tutorial visit, uh, video for us to show you how to turn your bare yarn with and Kool-Aid into a gorgeous new skein. If you get bitten by the yarn dyeing bug, as we suspect you will, hell yeah. You can stock up on more bare yarn from dyesupplier.com at 15% off coupon until June 10, 2020. That's already expired. Instead of the usual issue of inspirations with knitting and crochet patterns we're re-releasing several past patterns that will work perfectly with this year month's yarn bases some of our favorite pattern designers have also generously offered coupon codes for free or discounted patterns from their shops you can truly end up with one-of-a-kind creation this month to find rebecca's video along with blah blah okay so the yarn info this is nice and round it's 100 percent superwash merino wool Fingering weight, 100 grams. It's 415 yards or 380 meters in new money. Um, Rebecca is this chicken here. Rebecca Brown, not family. She's a passionate knitter and yarn dyer. When working on her PhD in biochemistry and molecular pharmacology, Rebecca started Chemnitz in 2008 as a lamp notebook, lab notebook to chronicle her knitting and early yarn dyeing adventures. In 2010, she created the Chemnitz Tutorial YouTube video channel and started filming yarn dyeing experiments with food colouring and Kool-Aid. Over time, the channel has evolved and you can join Rebecca on her journey into different ways to apply colour to yarn, acid dyes, natural dyes and even candy. Rebecca has adopted Miss Frizzle's motto, take chances, make mistakes, get messy. Her enthusiasm and love for dyeing yarn will make you want to give it a try yourself. Watch her video on youtube.com forward slash Chemnitz tutorials. Right. Oh my goodness. Right. My dying foray has been so far. I used food coloring on a large white t-shirt when I was working in a supermarket for Halloween or something. And I tie dyed with the food coloring a t-shirt. If I can find it in my memories or if I have the, I think I have the photo given back to me. So I, if I get the photo, I will try and insert it here. Um, so I, I tie dyed the t-shirt, was really, really pleased with it. And then I threw it in the wash and it all washed out. So food coloring is not a fixed thing. I didn't fix it with anything. 
Um, my next foray into dyeing, and that would have been 25 years ago, my next foray into dyeing was my Ada fabric where I've done a tea and coffee dye and I've done a writ powder ice dye. Um, now, if you go and look in my other channels, if I think about it, I will link it up in the eye. I've tie dyed, no, no, I haven't tie dyed, I've ice dyed a green and orange, green, white and gold, um, Irish Ada fabric and I have also just done a mishmash of colours in some other fabrics. They look really, really cool. I haven't necessarily got set patterns to work on them or anything like that. But that was the ice dyeing with the writ fabric. I fixed it with vinegar and rinsed it out. They, they dried lighter than they first appear and I've seen other people then dyeing their own fabric and I've joined up with a group that does homemade dyeing of fabric and yarns and, and things like that. I have heard of Kool-Aid dyeing. The colours are going to be awesome being the red and orange. I have no idea how to do this. So it will definitely be a first. I know if I was to dye it and then wash it, I'm going to lose it. So I need to find out how to fix it so that the colour actually stays in the yarn. I may do one at a time have to say dyeing your own fabric particularly if you have a project in mind is so addictive and it's so much fun and yeah it's just it's really really cool to do so uh, yeah that's something I would really really look forward to so I will go and check out her video I will put some of the links into the description for this so that you can follow hers um, so this is the 100% merino it's a base color. I mean, it's as it's just clean wool, basically. It's it's completely undyed. Um, I have absolutely no idea where this journey is going to go, but to have a go, just delights my mother-in-law. Um, she is or was a spinner. Um, so yeah, she um she would probably have an interest in something like this as well and um, not that I would I'd be asking her for any advice now she's just not able to but yeah um blah, this is exciting all right so this is the knit crate if you are interested in joining up with the knit crate subscription if you follow my link in the description um you will get a discount for your first box I think you can get your first box for five dollars I keep um, forgetting what the criteria are with the different boxes. I think it's $5 for your first one and then it's 20 for every subsequent box. Um, but you get a discount if you would like to give it a go and look, I mean, if you look back through my knit crates now, you'll see I've got the most amazing merinos and um, baby alpaca, uh, the most stunning colors. You, you select the color choice that you'd like so there's different colors so there's chill out box there's the anything goes box which is a range of anything and there is um um um, um there's the chill out anyway there's three boxes you have a, you have a choice in your color range there's the earthy tones there's the muted tones and then there's the anything goes which is the vibrant and stuff and if you're into knitting socks there's sock boxes as well so you get the sock weight wool um for your items so um yeah, lots and lots of choice, and yeah, it's it's not cheap, um, but it is 100% merinos usually, or it's you know it's quality wools. So you're not talking about cheap, nasty, horrible feel or anything. This wool feels gorgeous. Um, it's not a scratchy merino at all. Sometimes it can be quite coarse depending on how it's um, spun and finished, um, but this one is a lovely. Um, light and maybe it's down to the fingering weight rather than a worsted weight I'm still getting used to all the weights and what's what um, it's very very thin wool um, it's not elasticated or anything it doesn't have a lot of give or anything like that so it should hold its form in whatever you make with it so yeah orange and red and maybe I'll even try tasting this weird stuff. I don't think I've ever tasted um, Kool-Aid. Unsweetened drink mix. And this says empty into 
a large plastic or glass pitcher, add a cup, oh God, add a cup of sugar or a cup of Splenda sweetener. Add cold water and ice to make up two quarts. So 1.8 litres, just under two litres. One quart is 900 mil. So yeah, just under a litre. So just under two litres. That's quite a bit for um, a little sachet and a cup of sugar. Oh, yeah. If you had to make your own um, drinks, you probably would stop with the amount of sugar that you see being put into it as opposed to just knocking it back and drinking it. Anyway, you hear these nightmares of spoons of sugar in, you know, yeah, lots of spoons of sugar. So I'm after the dye, not the color, but I do love orange. Um, thank you for joining me. It, check out any of my other knit crates and um, yeah, this too could be something that you get to play with, you know, dyeing your own colors. I, this is going to be exciting. I will do this and I will try and get it done by the end of the week. Bye for now.